y'all. If we expect to raise money for the school's trip to Washington, D.C., these moves gotta be tight. Get with it, Momo. Relax, Dollar. Take it down. It wasn't my fault. He tripped me. Hey! Who are you? And yo, how did you get in here? And how did you get a hot dog on a twig at 9 in the morning? They don't open it till 10. At 11 on Sunday. <laughs> I'm Motor City J, and I want to be down with the jammies. So what do you do, Motor City J? Man, I could do it all. Rap, sing, dance, you know, just like you guys. Hey, check this out. <laughs> Mommy! Oh. Uh, uh, see? Um... Uh, uh. Hey, um, can you guys help me out? Um, I'm kind of stuck here. Nah, I don't think so, Spin City Sammy. Wait a minute, Dollar. Give him a chance. Let's see what he can do on the MRC. Hi, right, Motor City. You up. Kick a verse for us. Okay, okay. I got you, I got you. Sure. Yo, my name's MCJ, and I'm down with the jammies. With me and the group, I know we can win a bunch of... Music awards. Cut! Sorry, Radio City Rick, but you can't spit. You can't dance. Your outfit's tight, but not in a good way. Your whole style and body odor is just not real fresh. Sorry, player, but we can't use you. But if we ever decide to bring back the funk, you'll be the first one we call. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Jammies. We didn't get a chance to see if he could sing. <laughs> right, right. My rapping and dancing might need a little work, but my singing usually brings down the hit house. I don't know. Hmm. Come on, Dala. Give him a chance. I like his spirit. Yeah, let him sing. Give him a shot. Mm -hmm. Let him sing. The kid might have chops. OK, but this better be good. <clears throat> if I could change the world! <laughs> oh, I think I Let messed up my, my hair. Let it on my stomach. <sighs> Oh, man. I told you my singing would bring down the house. So what you say? Am I jammy or what? gonna take forever to rebuild my treehouse. Well, not if we all help to rebuild it, like a habitat for Dala. If we do any makeover, it'll be on you. Um, these braids are so played out. Come on, Lala. If we all pitch in, we can have Dala's treehouse back up by tomorrow. Negative, homie. I've been building that treehouse since I was five years old. You do the math. So what are we gonna do now? The show is only two days away. I don't know, but we gotta find a new place to rehearse, fast. Oh, I know. Why don't we 
rehearse at your house, novelist. Yeah, we could use your parents' basement. Hmm. Hey, Mom, me and the Jammies are going to use a basement to rehearse for our show. That's okay with you, right? Que para que vengan a destruir mi casa como lo hiciste la Dollar Street House. No lo creo, eh, no lo creo, pero para nada, para nada, pero para nada. Hey, pops. I was wondering if we could use the basement for the house. Okay, I'll take that as a no. Vous êtes folle. Oui. Alors, mm. ma maison pour se retrouver comme la tree house de Dollar est oui. plus oui. rapidement que la France pendant la deuxième guerre mondiale. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ton tête, enfant? Je suis pas un imbécile. Vous n'allez pas travailler ici. Mama? That's weird. You know, I actually understand what she's saying. What? No. Well, I guess there's only one person left. Motor City J. Oh, oh, oh. What's up, my jammy family? Not my treehouse, thanks to you. Now we don't have anywhere to rehearse for our big show. Sorry about that, Dollar. But would I be a real jammy if I didn't have a backup spot for us to rehearse? Oh! Us? You're not a jammy. Jammy, un until you performed in your first show, which we'll rehearse right after school. So, um, where's this backup spot? Um, not that I'm mad or anything, because this is my favorite place, but why are we at the mall? Yeah, Big go. Apple Bobby. I thought you had a place for us to rehearse. Chill, my jammy brother from another mother. I got something I want you guys to see. What is this place? Well, Dollar, you had a tree house. I have a mall house. It's feng shui. Poppy collar, Dollar. Oh, snap! This is off the hook! Ooh, this is the chillest spot ever. This would be a great yoga room. Yeah. This is pretty Mojave, Big Easy Eddie. Yo, it looks like we found our rehearsal spot. All right, let's take it from the top. If I could change the world and everything, I, I could change, change the world. The world. Oh, oh, oh. We're boys and girls. Always make their dreams come true. Nervous. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, man. That's my mom's. Look, you guys got a jet. We'll rehearse again tomorrow after school. Oh, oh, almost oh, forgot. This exit will take you guys through the mall. But whatever you do, go straight out. Don't stop for nothing. Oh, yeah. It's on. Yo, now, you see what I see? I'm all over it. Yeah, boy. Hey, Seven, you with us? For sure. It's about to get acrobatical up in here. What are you guys doing? Motor City J said not to stop. Don't worry, we don't plan on stopping. Peace. <laughs> boys, boys, boys. Oh, they are so hard headed. <gasps> oh, that. Is to die for. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
Somebody's coming. Huh? 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 Clondell, boy. He'll catch you every time. He'll catch you here or he'll catch you in school. But either way, he'll catch you. Now I had this small seal shut. Shut! So somebody had to let you in here. And as sure as my name is Clondell Ferguson, Jr. the third. You gonna tell me who it was. Yo, I can't wait to hit the crowd with our show tomorrow. It's gonna be off the chains, y'all. Especially if Beantown Brian's not there. Come on, Dollar. Take it easy on dude. He's starting to get it. Where is Motor City J? I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. Me either. Uh, hey guys. Here I am, the sixth jammy. Whoa! Holla. For the last time, homie, you are not a jammy. So, Jay. Are we gonna hit up your mall spot tonight? You know, it's our last big rehearsal before the big show. Nah, I'm afraid not, Nav. Me and my mom had to move to a different spot. Somebody ratted me out. Clondell made us pack up our stuff and hit the road, man. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you actually lived there? Yeah. What do you think I was doing there? We thought it was your clubhouse. It had such a great vibe to it. Nah, I've never even been in a club before. Until the jammies. Oh man, we're sorry, Jay. Oh, don't sweat it, don't sweat it, man. It's not like it was your fault. Well, it might have been. I'm sorry. I told him, but, but I didn't mean to, I promise. Clydell tortured it out of me. Are you gonna tell me what I need to know? Or do I have to feed it out of you? <laughs> yeah, because I can see he likes to eat. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> his name is Bonus Diddy J. He lives down in the basement. He let us use this place to rehearse. You, you got any milk to go through something? Dang, Seven. Well, I guess rehearsal's off. I'm sorry, Motor City J. We didn't mean to get you in trouble. Oh, don't don't swear, man. Don't swear, you guys. I've got an even better place for our group to rehearse. And trust me, you guys will have even more fun than you did last night. Only way that's possible is if you move to an amusement park. Yeah, I can't believe how much you ate. <laughs> man, Chocolate City Charles has the hottest crib I've ever seen. I wish I could live in an amusement park. I would never leave home. Come on, guys. An amusement park is not a home. I felt very at home, especially at the pizza stand, and the cotton candy stand, and the funnel cake stand. Novelist is right, you guys. Think about it. He moved from a mall to an amusement park. Who would do that? That does seem kind of strange. You know what, you guys? I think Motor City J is homeless. Homeless? Oh man, we should do something to help Garden State Gary out. Hey, I got an idea, but we can't tell Motor City J. Hey, hello, Principal Cranberry. Uh. Don't you kid say a word, and don't make any quick moves. I've been working on this for four days. What is it, Principal Cranberry? Shh. Sorry. What? What is it? It's a replica of King Ludwig, the second 17th century New Swanstein castle. <laughs> Speaking of new shoes, we got something we want to run by you, Principal Cranberry. Oh? Yeah, see, we wanted to ask you, instead of using the money that we raised from our show to go to Washington, D.C., we could give it to our friend who doesn't have a place to live. We found out that he and his mom were sleeping in a mall basement. Ew. And at West Coaster World. Talk about a scary ride. Plus, 
We got all the kids in the school to sign this petition saying they down with it. I see. Well, that sounds quite noble of you guys. <laughs> Tell you what. Make it 75% of the proceeds, and you got a deal. What happens to the other 25%, Principal Cranberry? That goes to my favorite charity. Me! Man, as more hobbies as our shows are, 80-20 or we walk. Hmm. Trying to get tough with me, eh? Hmm. 60-40. Tell you what, it's 90-10 and we won't tell the school board. You got a deal. But to make it official, you have to successfully help me put the final card on this castle. Uh, 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 uh. Congratulations, Jammies! We've got a deal! Here's my crew. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. That's gotta hurt. No, not the new one, see? Don't feel bad, Mr. C. He did the same thing to my treehouse. If I could change the world and everything around me and everything The Jimmy! Are they smoking or what? Thank you! If I can have your attention, me and the Jammies have a very special presentation to make. Thanks to Principal Cranberry and the generosity of all the students and fans, 100%, uh -uh. I mean 90% of all the money raised here today will go to help our boy, Motor City huh? Jay and his mom, who have been homeless until now, find a place to call home. Huh? <laughs> so has anyone seen Motor City J? Not since he ran off yesterday. I think we hurt his feelings. I wish somebody would hurt my feelings with a fat check. Windy City William is just bugging. Guys, we announced in front of the whole school that he's homeless. Yeah, we did put him on blast. Yeah. I guess we should have come up with a better way of helping him. What's up, Jamis? Yo, Jay, what up? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah, you had us worried. Yeah, I'm real worried. Why are you dressed like me? Because you're my idol, D. <laughs> Look, Jay, we're sorry about yesterday. We didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And if it'll make you feel better, we'll take the money back. Uh, too late, Nav. My mom took the check and found us a nice three-story crib overlooking the ocean. Check out my tan, dogs! Oh, cool! We got another place to rehearse! Uh, sorry guys, can't happen. My moms don't want anybody wrecking my three-story crib overlooking the ocean. And I got some more bad news. Since we moved out of the city, I'm afraid I can't be down with the jammies anymore. But you never were a jammy! Anyway, I gotta bounce. I'm meeting my mom at the Fizzler. We're having lobster. Mm -mm. If you ever on my side of town, holla at your boy. Ballin'. See, it all worked out. What are you talking about now? He didn't even say thank you. Yo, don't trip. My mom says doing good for somebody is thanks enough. Then why wouldn't your mom let us rehearse at your house? Okay, okay, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, True that. That's, that's what that's it's all about. about. True that. Now. That's how the jammy's supposed to roll. One for all, and, and all, all for one. one. Oh, snap! My wow. treehouse is back. Dang! It looks even fresher, too. It has an elevator. Look, guys, there's a piece of paper. Read it, what does it say? Dear, Dear Dollar, Dollar, you've been pumped. Ha <laughs> I got you good, dog. Me and my mom had enough money left over to rebuild your treehouse. Hope you like the new elevator. Just like the jammies, it rises to the top. Thank you and the crew for being my friends. Motor City J, holla at your boy. Wow, yeah. that, that is so cool, sweet. That's that real nice. J, wow. all right. Yeah, Motor City J, that's my boy.
first when he slipped in, then tried to rock on the first. I thought he was the worst. Man, I'm about to burst when he knocked down a spot. Now that's not rehearsed. Lost with no place to react or relax at. Jammies didn't know he's on the go like a backpack. I didn't really like him, didn't know, cause I lack facts. Now I know the business feeling bad that I act. Wow.